thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, my Rumble channel, um, following me on Facebook. I really appreciate it. I wanted to give a quick update because a lot of you know me as a private investigator who does um, videos and um, um, expresses my opinions on um, various news topics, um, especially in the state of Maine uh, when it comes to corruption, when it comes to cronyism um, and things like that. I've posted literally um, possibly more than a hundred, I don't know how many, but dozens and dozens of videos on corruption in the state of Maine um, at, at all levels from local police departments to the sher to sheriff's departments to um, the state police um, the Department of Health and Human Services, um, the Revenue Service. I mean, I posted videos on so much corruption in Maine that, um, <laughs> uh, like, uh, it, it makes you a little bit uh, jaded when it um, when you think about what's going on up there. Um, but um, many of you have noticed and commented and sent me emails asking me why I'm not posting those videos anymore. Um, the, the short answer is that I have been seriously retaliated against by the main State Police for my posts. Um, and I'm in the midst of trying to fight back against that. And it's just not in my best interest to keep posting about it until that fight's over. Um, basically, I feel a little bit like when I was a child, I was lied to by my teachers and my parents and my pastor and everybody. I feel like <laughs> they told me that um, we have the right to question our government, that we have a First Amendment right of free speech. And it appears, based on what's going on in the state of Maine and how they retaliated against me, that's not true. Um, maybe it was true when they told it to me back in the 80s and 90s, but it's not true today. We do not have free speech because they used social media posts to retaliate against me. Social media posts where I was doing nothing more than asking questions about my government in a very logical and critical way. Um, I was expressing opinions, I was expressing concerns, I was asking questions. And because of that, they came after me extremely hard. Um, denied me a professional license so I can't even work in the state of Maine. And I feel like saying things is now a risk. And until this is all cleared up through the legal system, because I still believe, maybe, maybe I'll lose faith in that too, but as of this moment, I still believe in the legal system. And just stay tuned. There is some new developments that are coming soon. Um, and I'll post about them on my social media. Maybe they'll even be covered in the news, who knows. But um, that's where I'm at, and I really appreciate your support.